Good morning, middle school sixth graders. My name is Nanette Stewart, and I'm the principal of the Middle School of Pleasantville. I'd like to welcome you to the middle school and welcome you to the 2020-2021 school year. I, on behalf of myself, as well as the staff and administration, we'd like to express how pleased we are to have you now become a part of our middle school family. Though we're starting the school year out under unique circumstances, we're confident that your elementary school teachers and administrators have prepared you so that you are equipped to begin this school year using virtual instruction. Starting the school year out using remote instruction and remote learning may not have been what any of us had planned as our ideal desire, but we're confident that with the assistance and support of our staff and your parents, we will be more than able to meet the challenges that will be placed before you educationally this year. We were indeed disappointed that we weren't able to see you and meet with you during fifth grade orientation but we have prepared this virtual orientation so that you can put some of the names with faces so that we can provide you with information that will be important as you navigate through the school year and so that you will understand our hopes and our learning expectations for you with, with that, that said, said I'd, I'd like, like to, to begin be today's presentation by first introducing you to our administrative staff i'd like to first bring up dr lapel chapman who is our assistant principal. He is the AD, as well as all eighth grade students. I'll ask Dr. Chapman to come up now to say a few words to you before introducing you to your assistant principal. Dr. Chapman. Good morning, my name is Dr. Chapman. Again, I am the assistant principal here at the Middle School of Pleasantville and I am very excited about this upcoming school year. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you at some point in the future. Um, as you view this uh, presentation, please make sure that you watch it and listen to everything that's in here. It is a lot of very important information that you will receive. Additionally, if um, parents, as you view this information, please share it with others, whether it is through uh, Facebook or um, YouTube. You can share the link so that others may see it as well. And um, our seventh and eighth grade students, you may also view it as well because there may be some information in there for you as well. Again, welcome. We look forward to a great school year, uh, regardless of how it is, whether it is virtual or we come back into our buildings. Um, and good luck, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chapman. At this time, I'm going to also ask that Ms. Irwin, Ms. Renee Irwin, come forward and talk with you and share with you information as it relates to the sixth graders. She is the assistant principal for sixth grade, as well as seventh graders whose last name begins with A through L. And again, she will share important information that will be useful to you, information uh, that will affect you and will help you and guide you through the learning process and the educational process at the middle school, be it virtually or on campus. Uh, please note also that this information is being recorded and will be reposted at a later time so that students are able to see it. With that said, I'm gonna ask Ms. Irwin to come forward. Hello, I'm Mrs. Irwin, I am um, as um, Ms. Stewart said the sixth grade principal. Um, I just wanted to say yes we're starting the school year off in a different way. Um, our situations are changing daily, things that we're not used to. We're learning to adapt, we're learning to work through all of the uh, constant change. Despite that, I have high hopes and high expectations, actually our entire team does, for all of you and we hope you have high expectations and high hopes for yourself. Um, We'll learn new things this year. We will probably discover things that we never even knew we could do. Uh, we're gonna handle all of that together as a group. Um, we do look forward to seeing you again virtually or when you are able to come back to the building. 
So uh, we're gonna move on to the presentation parts. We have a number of slides that we wanna share with you. The first section is geared towards the students. The section, second section is geared more towards the parents and guardians. Okay. So we want to welcome you to the Middle School of Pleasantville. Let me get this presentation up. There it goes. Okay, so we're welcoming you to the Middle School of Pleasantville. This is what the building looks like if you haven't had a chance to drive through our campus. These are, we're gonna start with the faces of the middle school. As, um, as you saw, uh, you already saw the, it's going through my slide. I'm sorry, technical difficulties folks, hang on, stay with us. Um, there we go, I don't know why it did that automatically. Um, so, you were introduced already to the administrators, but this is for um, people who come and view this later on. So, we have four different smaller buildings all coming together in one big building. Um, whether you came from Washington Ave, North Main, South Main, Leeds Avenue, you're all coming together now um, in one big building and you're probably going to make new friends that you, that you um, did not have before. The agenda for this presentation is we're gonna go through some faces and some places of the middle school. Uh, the information for students are gonna be your academic expectations, your virtual teams and courses. Uh, we're gonna talk about Chromebooks briefly, middle school expectations, including online learning and some clubs and activities. Then when we get to the parent slides, we're gonna talk about the transition to middle school. Um, attendance, how that is extremely important. We're going to provide you with some contact information on these slides. We're going to talk to you about in the on-course information system where you have access to your children's um, information and our, one of our methods of communicating with you, which is through Remind. So let's start with our counselors. Our counselors have a big job. So starting the bottom left, we have Dr. Barnes. She's mainly eighth grade. Uh, we have Ms. Bunch, who is our seventh grade counselor, not saying that you might not meet with them or see them around the building, so make sure when you come back you do say hello. Um, on the top right-hand side, we have Ms. Gillespie. She is one of our counselors. She, she sees students for a number of different reasons. Uh, another face, another person that you can go to. Your dedicated counselor is Ms. Brenda Herrera. She is your sixth grade counselor. She's who you will see most of the time. And last but certainly not least, we have Mr. Frank Cambron, who is our dropout prevention coordinator. Um, he does a, a number of different things in the building, just like Ms. Gillespie, so there is a very good chance you will come across him as well. Let's get to our social studies teachers. I'm sorry. Our ELA teachers, did it skip? Oh no, hold on. There we go. Our ELA, graphic literature and social studies. So each of these little buttons on here is a little welcome from each teacher, so I'm gonna pop them up so that you can see them. We're gonna go through one at a time. Hi, my name is Mrs. Fodi. I'm the sixth grade English language arts teacher at the middle school. I wanna take a few minutes to welcome you to the middle school and let you know that we'll do everything we can to make your transition from elementary school to middle school a good one. Enjoy the rest of your summer. See you in September. Okay, next. Hey, sixth graders. My name is Miss Birch and I teach language arts. And I just wanted to welcome you to the Pleasantville Middle School. Listen, I know that this will be a challenging school year, 
But you know what? I like challenges. I hope you do too. And even if you don't, by the time I'm done with you, you will. So listen, I just don't want you to worry. I got you. Okay? So listen, just enjoy the rest of your summer. You know, and I will see you guys in September. Okay? I got you. Please just don't mm-hmm. let me go. There we go. Girls, my name is Mrs. Smith Stowe, and I'm one of the sixth grade social studies teachers. I look forward to meeting you in September, and we will have a wonderful school year together. Enjoy the rest of your summer, and you take. Hi, sixth grade. I'm Miss Coslick. I'll be teaching social studies. I can't wait to meet everybody, and I'm very excited about the upcoming school year. And no, hi everyone, I'm Miss Doms and I teach English language arts. I cannot wait to meet you and hear all about the books that you've been reading this summer. And no, watching TikTok videos, they do not count towards reading books. I hope you have a great rest of your summer and I'll see you in September. Hello, and welcome to the middle school of Pleasantville. This is Batman, welcoming you to our school. Honestly, this is Mr. Weems, welcoming you to the middle school of Pleasantville. I teach the Understanding Graphic Literature class, which is one of your specials class, and it's a class in which we read comics and get to understand reading more and a different form of reading and maybe even writing our own comics. So I'm hoping to see you this year and Always remember when you come to school to wear your mask. Welcome, Greyhounds. I'm Mrs. Rousseau. Welcome, Greyhounds. I'm Mrs. Rousseau, and I teach English language arts. Okay, I believe that was everybody. Mm-hmm. Next slide is science, math technology, and STEM. Uh, and oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Hi, I'm Ms. Bustied, and I teach sixth grade math, and I am really proud of being a part of this great staff. I learn the TikTok dances every week for all of you. And when you're in my class, you learn and have fun too. I can't wait to see all of your brand new faces while teaching you like things like exponents and bases. Welcome to the middle school. We're out right here. and I'm going to be your sixth grade science teacher this year. I'm really excited about being your teacher this year. Hi, I'm Mrs. Blanca Pecky. I'm a middle school math teacher, sixth grade, and I so look forward to meeting you this school year. Sorry, there's a couple videos not working. My name is Craig Polite. I'm a sixth grade science teacher at the Middle School of Pleasantville. I look forward to meeting all new sixth grade students, and I wish you all to have a wonderful year. Have a great day. Sixth graders, I'm Mrs. Robinson, and I'm oh, so excited on. to. I gotta get this out of here. To meet you, and I'm so excited for your upcoming school year. Briefly, I am the technology lead at the Middle School of Pleasantville. I also teach technology, and I'm also the Renaissance coordinator. During your sixth grade orientation, I'll be sharing a host of information with you to get you better acclimated with the technology procedures, what to expect, and our incredible Renaissance program. 
Again, I'm looking forward to meeting you and so excited for you and our upcoming school year. See you soon. Sixth graders, I'm Mrs. Robinson and I'm so no, excited no. to meet you and I'm so- Hi, incoming sixth graders. I'm Mr. Latour. I'm the environmental STEM teacher at MSP. I'm really excited to meet you this year. We're gonna learn lots of really cool stuff about the environment. See you soon. Okay, for some reason I can't see these other videos. I apologize. Um, art, music, Spanish, avid, and physical education faces. Uh, hello, sixth graders. This is Mr. Wilkerson. Um, I'm the art teacher at MSP, and uh, welcome to our school. Hopefully, you'll be in my class, maybe. All right. This is my son, Chase. Say hi, Chase. Say hi. <laughs> All right, hopefully, I'll see you soon. Welcome to sixth grade. This is Ms. Cohen. I am one of the health and physical education teachers at Pleasantville Middle School. Um, I just want to welcome you aboard. We're going to have a great year and I can't wait to meet everyone. Hi, this is Mr. Green. I teach health and physical education in the middle school of Pleasantville and I can't wait to meet all my sixth grade students in September. Peace out. I want to welcome all sixth graders to Pleasantville Middle School. I am Ms. Boehm. I am one of the health and physical education teachers. There are six of us and hope to see you soon. Hello. My name is Alex Harley. Mr. Harley. I'm the health and PE teacher here at the great Pleasantville Middle School, the home of the Gray Ave. To watch your time at the MSP, we will work hard together to help you accomplish your goals. Look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe again. My name is Mr. Harley. Welcome. Incoming sixth grade students to the Middle School of Pleasantville. My name is Mr. Hassan Abdul Rahim, and I am the band director at the school. And I'm looking very much forward to having you as new members in our wonderful band and music program at the Middle School of Pleasantville. See you in the fall. I teach the AVID elective here at the Middle School of Pleasantville. I cannot wait to meet all of you and work with you this year. No matter how everything goes, we are going to make this an amazing first year of middle school for you. And I can't wait to meet you. See you soon. Okay, moving to the next slide. We have ESL and special education. Hi, I'm Ms. Howe. I'll be one of the sixth grade math teachers. I'm looking forward to meeting you all this year, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your summer. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bravo. I am the ESL teacher for science and social studies. I'm very excited about going back to school this year, and I hope you are too. Hi, incoming sixth graders. I'm Michelle Ferretti. I am a sixth grade special ed English teacher, and I'm really looking forward to meeting you in September. Hi, my name is Miss Yaccarino. I teach math, ELA, science, and social studies to sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. My classroom is B101, which is on the first floor as soon as you walk in the main entrance. See you soon. Hi, sixth graders. I'm Miss Moran. I am the middle school MD teacher and just wanted to say welcome to MSP. Good afternoon. This is Miss Gonzalez. Welcome to Middle School of Pleasantville. 
I will be your math teacher, a bilingual math teacher for the sixth grade. I am excited to be with you soon. So we, together we will learn math and have fun learning. Um, enjoy the rest of your vacation and I hope to see you soon. Muy buenas tardes, esta es la señora González. Voy a ser la maestra de matemática bilingüe de sexto grado. Espero eh, aprender con ustedes y gozarnos a través de la enseñanza. Así que disfruten de sus vacaciones, tiempo que les queda, y espero verlos pronto. Que Dios les bendiga. Nos vemos. Ok. Sorry we missed some of the other videos. Um, some other places at the middle school. So on the picture to the left, uh, once you are able to come back to the building, you will see that this is the main office. Um, there are a number of staff members in there. That is where you will also find our principal's office. The top center is A205, uh, where you will find Mr. Ch uh, Dr. Chapman, I'm sorry. Um, that's on the second floor A wing and a number of other staff members in his office as well. To the right of that is C205, also on the second floor, opposite uh, wing of Mr. Cha Dr. Chapman. That's where you will find Ms. my office, Ms. Irwin's office, and a number of other staff members, um, especially your sixth grade guidance counselor. And in on the third floor, C305, you will see Ms. Little, Ms. DiGeronimo, and Ms. Henderson, who are from our child study team. And you, we also have a beautiful library, and here's a quick video from our librarian. Good morning. I'm Mrs. Dobb. I'm your middle school librarian. We cannot wait to see you and get back to learning and reading at our school. Check out our resources at the Media Center webpage. There's stuff for your parents, too. Hope to see you soon. Another place at the middle school is our gymnasium where you will participate in health and PE. Uh, we have a boys locker room and a girls locker room in there. This is also when we get back to school where we'll hold uh, assemblies and a number of other fun things for you. The next place at the middle school that we want to make sure you're aware of, uh, right next to the main office on the first floor is our nurse's office. That is where Nurse Hinkley and Nurse Skeel are. Um, and then the picture to the right is our cafeteria. It's a nice large cafeteria. We will also have assemblies and, and uh, shows, dances, etc., in the cafeteria for you, hopefully when we get back to school this year. So during COVID-19, um, all visitors that come to the middle school will be expected to wear a mask. I, you saw I had mine still around my neck and adhere to all health and safety standards, and that's for the safety of everybody involved. We do have hand sanitizer uh, set up around the building. Uh, washing hands and sanitizing is, is something that is mandatory to keep us all safe and healthy. And because we want to ensure the health and wellness of all of you guys, the district's providing daily meals to all students. For your food services can be accessed at the closest school to your residence if you are interested in picking up breakfast and lunch. So information specifically for the students. So we're gonna go over Chromebooks, academic expectations, virtual teams and scheduling, the middle school's expectations, some uh, school events that may happen this year, uh, and clubs and activities. All right, so Chromebooks. Each student will have a district issued Chromebook and a charger that must be returned at the end of the school year. You will be sent a Chromebook distribution schedule that outlines when you are to come to the middle school to pick up your device before the start of the school year. It is extremely important that you charge this every night so you can use it for school. Chromebooks should only be used for educational purposes. Teachers and administrators are going to be monitoring the use of the Chromebooks to make sure that they are being used appropriately. Lastly on this slide, technology packets are being sent home and they must be signed prior to issuance of the devices. Two signatures are required. The parent and guardian must sign and the student must sign. 
We will not be able to release any devices unless we have both signatures on the forms. So some academic expectations. You see to the left, there's a big black star there. It says during virtual learning. You are expected to log into your assigned class every day and on time. It is also expected that you participate 100% in your class and in your education. To the right, you will work through a rigorous Common Core and Next Gen standards. Everything is driven by a standard, and we want to make sure by the time you leave us that you have met all of those standards. There will be independent classwork and projects. There is definitely a high level of accountability for each student. As sixth graders, you will see that accountability is going to lean more towards um, you this year than you're used to. You'll be challenged to use inferential thinking. Yes, no, easy answers are a thing of the past. Teachers will engage you in multi-step questioning. Homework will be assigned and 100% completion is expected. There is a reason for homework, which I'm sure your teachers will discuss with you. And big changes, you will have different teachers for different subjects this year. Sorry. Okay, so during virtual instruction, there really is no difference in the quality of instruction during virtual instruction. We have some of the best teachers in the area. Students will follow the regular bell schedule during virtual instruction as if they were in the school building. There is an AB schedule for social studies, science, and all specials, which we will go over in greater detail at a later time. With the AB schedule, students attend your classes every other day on a rotating basis. So that's just for social studies, science, and specials on a rotating basis. You will have math and ELA every day. More information is forthcoming about that. So this, the courses that you can expect to have this year, there's four core courses, English language arts, math, science, and social studies. But there are other courses that you may see on your schedule, like graphic literature, where you saw Mr. Weems talking about that. That's like a companion ELA class that focuses on the graphic novel. You may also see media services, which is where you learn how to use the library system, um, obtain ebooks, audio files, and so much more in the technology realm as far as media services go. And of course, you're gonna have rotating related academics. You could have art, STEM, music and or technology. And last but certainly not least, you have physical education. And of course, when we get back to the building, there's always lunch built into your schedule. So here are some expectations. And I don't think these are really any different than any other school that you've been in or any other situation that you've been in, really. We, number one, respect yourself and others. We all know that respect goes a long, long way. Uh, we ask that you take care of each other and of course we'll be taking care of you as well. And that you cooperate with your fellow students, your teachers, and your adults in the building. The second box is that you display positive behavior. We do have a positive behavioral support program at the school where there are a number of incentives for doing so. We just ask that you just do that naturally. And we already said be in attendance every day and on time. We cannot stress that enough to adhere to all safety standards and protocols put in place for our safety. The three W's, wear your mask, watch, wash your hands, and watch your distance. That's being six feet from other people. So behavioral expectations for online learning. Students and families are expected to adhere to proper online behavioral protocols during all distance learning. This includes, but is definitely not limited to, the following. Students and staff will be dressed appropriately during live or self-recorded online instruction. And that means you cannot come to school in your PJs. Foul language, behavior, or any other innuendos will not be permitted on any online platform. Online environment shall follow school rules as it relates to treatment of others and staff. Cheating and plagiarism is forbidden on assignments. We know how easy it is to open another browser and try to find the answer. That's not gonna help you in the long run. Students found to be cheating or plagiarizing content 
will receive a zero for the assignment and grades do matter. Students will follow staff directions and rules as it pertains to online assignments, live videos, and archived lessons. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to talk to your teachers or one of the administrators. So what can we look forward to? We hope that when we get back up and running that we can have some fun events for you. We would love to be able to have you in the building this year and have a dance as permitted. We would love to have the various assemblies that we have had planned in the past. We would also enjoy seeing you take a grade level field trip at the end of the school year. So these are all on our wish list for this year. We may still be able to have what we used to call Spirit Week in person in a virtual situation. We'll have to look at that one. Student of the Month is definitely something that will happen during virtual learning. Renaissance celebrations are also something that will happen during virtual learning. Just a little twist to them. And of course, our PBSIS celebrations will also occur. Now some clubs and activities that you can look forward to. Some of these will be offered virtually. More information on that will be forthcoming. But some of the clubs and activities include drama, PBSIS ambassadors, and I will talk to you about that later on, girls club, yearbook, multicultural club, national junior honor society, horticulture, sea perch robotics, beginning band, concert band, and so much more. We have a lot planned for you. Now we switch to parent information. So parents, guardians, this is where we talk to you. The middle school, if you didn't already have a child go through middle school, um, is a huge transitional period for them. It is a time of major social and emotional growth. Your child may struggle to fit in even when finding ways to be an individual. Do not be surprised if your opinions seem to matter less or your child does not ask for advice as often as before. I should know, been through two of them already. Middle school students are more likely to be influenced by peer pressure. Think back when you were in middle school. They may have experiences with bullying and cyberbullying in the world that we live in today. They may be sensitive to other people's opinions and reactions. Sometimes our middle school students think the whole world's watching them. They can develop a sense of pride and accomplishment and awareness of their challenges, which is what we hope to accomplish for them this year. Um, your middle school student may also not tell you everything anymore. Uh, it seems to be that the friends become more important. Moving from a small building to a larger building can be intimidating in the beginning, so we hope to help them with that transition. Your middle school student may need more rest since so much more energy is being used for growth. A suggestion would be to remove electronics one hour before bed. If possible, charge those electronics outside of the sleeping quarters. And there is a difference between body and brain growth. So students are more physically mature than they are cognitively or emotionally. It, there is an assumption that once you get to middle school, it's time to grow up, but there is a lot of growth that happens during these three years. They may be moody, need more privacy. Students may test out new clothing styles, try on new personalities while figuring out where and how they fit in. Remember, they're gonna be meeting people that they did not go to school with before. Students develop at different paces. It's important that we remember that. They're moving from dependent learners to independent learners, and that is going to be stressed over and over again. If you feel that your child is not meeting milestones or is struggling with school or friendships, talk to your child's teacher and or school counselor. We are here to help the students with a successful transition. Back one more. One way to help keep you informed is on Course Connect. You can call your child's guidance counselor to get the log information just for you. The student will also have login information where they can keep track of their own assignments. You will go to the Pleasantville website. You will click on a tab, Parents and Students. I have that highlighted on that picture there for you. And you will click on On Course. You will have the login information and then from there you can just navigate through the site you could look at grade books from the teachers all assignments are there missing assignments turned in assignments assignments that are coming you can also review your child's discipline 
Hopefully there won't be anything in there for you to look at and much, much more. Do not forget to contact your child's counselor today for the login information so you have it at your fingertips from the beginning. And her email is located right below on this page. And of course, we're going to ask that you join us on Remind. We will send you a lot of information here. This is a great way for us to get information to your fingertips in a matter of seconds. So please text at 7KKDB6 to 81010. Again, text at 7KKD as in dog, B as in boy 6 to 81010. So welcome, sixth graders. We are really excited to have you. And Ms. Irwin, just to remind the parents, uh, when they get that student contact information form, please make sure we have their phone numbers as well as their email addresses so that we can make sure that they stay updated via Remind and other methods. Okay, so hopefully you guys heard that. We definitely need that contact information so that we can reach you. Please make sure it's filled out in its entirety. So during this challenging time, it is difficult to have a full orient orientation and a tour of the building as we would have had in the years past. We hope this vir virtual tour provided you with the chance to become comfortable with your new school before you enter our wonderful hallways and classrooms. Feel free to contact the administration at any time and remember, you are a success story waiting to happen. Welcome to 